Uh, next question. This comes from Tony. <coughs> Tony has a really high-end question here. He talks about, I have an Apple 24-inch Mac and a Windows computer on the same network. A bi-platform kind of user. I like that. So like a... Uh, agnostic user. <laughs> uh, there are folders on each that I would like to keep in sync. So in other words, I have pictures that I've imported on my iMac, but I also want to sync some of those pictures on my PC as well, so hmm. I can get access to both those files on either computer, regardless of which one I'm on. Okay. Either my laptop or my, mm -hmm. my desktop. But he's a bi-platform user, but he wants to sync those files. Um, there are folders that I, on each that I would like to keep in sync, meaning that if I add an item to the Apple Mac, it would be sent over the network to the Windows PC. It says, I know, I know that you're going to say to get some network storage device. Uh, it says, I have so much attached storage to these machines. I have my Apple, I got 1.5 terabyte, and on Windows, 1 terabyte. Wow. Uh, I can see he has more storage on his Apple, probably because that's where he's doing all this video editing and stuff like that because of the that multimedia That's a lot skills. of storage. He says, I have no need to buy more. Are there any other solutions you can think of? Help! <laughs> Tony asks. <laughs> yes, I, uh, this is really a hard thing because Usually Windows, Macs, not always play so well together, but mm. I do have a solution for you. It is a bit technical, so want to make sure you read through the directions, but let me pull this up for you here. It's called Unison File Synchronizer. It's from this guy up at University of Pennsylvania, uh, and it's a free download program. It runs on Unix and Windows, and Unix means Mac OS X is based on Unix, so that works. It also works on Linux. And basically, go through there. You can read some information about it. There's a user manual, a PDF that you can download. Um, you can also take a look at the, uh, the downloads that they have. There's a guestbook that you can do or proceed to the, di the downloads that they have. Um, there's Windows and Mac OS X binaries. It's the current stable version that you can download. Um, so anyway, read through that. That would probably be the best solution for you in working with both systems. And it's you know, it doesn't cost anything. I do recommend that you donate. Uh, there's a little PayPal donate button over here. And, uh, zoom in. And you should do that because, you know, he's bothered to save you some time. If so, you know, <laughs> give him five bucks or something like that. It's just kind of good. It helps the people to produce more of this stuff so it isn't controlled by big corporations. So, it's kind of a nice thing. Hooray for freeware, right? Yeah. Just like our show, you know, we have a, a donate button. That's our only source of income from the show. We don't want to do ads and be a big corporate thing. We're not part of some big you know, media conglomerate that... <laughs> yeah, that basically is only showing you stuff that our sponsors want you to know about so we can sell more <laughs> Dell computers. Uh, anyway, so hopefully that answers your question, Tony. If anybody else, our viewers out there, have had experience with some other resources that work with both Mac and Windows for syncing your files, uh, let us know. And the nice thing about this is syncing is it's going to put both files, some of them only put, send files one way. This It'll make goes. sure a copy goes to the other computer, but this one is, if I then connect my digital camera to my Dell computer, I can then connect it, my Mac will automatically get a copy of those pictures. It doesn't matter which computer I sync with. So it is a two-way street. Exactly, a two-way street. So you should like that. Experiences, either send us an email or post on our comment section on our uh, site, mm -hmm. uh, and that would be really good. If you haven't seen that before, let me zoom out. We do on our, each of our uh, shows have a, a comment section right down here where you can add your comments in there. And if you click on one of our older shows, you'll still find a place here for comments for that particular episode. Mm -hmm. Okay. And never, f never, you know, forget to comment on how awesome I did, <laughs> how good of a host I am. That fan mail. Sometimes we get more. We definitely get more of the, more fan mail than we do uh, uh, donate buttons. So keep it coming. Really appreciate all that. <laughs> Last question, also related to storage. 